Our top story tonight, a murder in Franklin. Police are trying to figure out who killed a 22-year-old man last night. Police say someone shot Martinez Hill on Rosewood Avenue near Washington Street, then dropped him off at the hospital, but then drove off. Ten on your side's Brandy Cummings was in Franklin today. So, Brandy, what did you find out? Well, Deanna Friends say Martinez Hill will be missed. They're describing him tonight as a man who kept them laughing. He... He just was a fun person to be around. It's hard for Heather Lightfoot to believe that her friend Martinez Hill, a man they called T, won't be around anymore for the laughs. He didn't deserve it. He was a good person. He was a good friend. You know what I'm saying? He, he was a good dad. Franklin police say Hill was riding in a car Friday night around 8 o'clock. He was in the Rosewood Avenue and Washington Street area when someone shot into the car and the bullet hit him in the head. Police say the person driving the car wasn't hit and took Hill to the hospital and left him there. According to a news release, Hill was flown to Centera Norfolk General where he died after midnight. Lightfoot wasn't home when her friend was shot, but she knew something was going on near home. See an ambulance and police and stuff and had no idea that it was somebody that I knew. When she did find out, she went to the hospital and was there moments before T took his last breath. We just got to deal with everybody together around here. We still got to look at the same, everybody got to look at the same faces. His just ain't going to be one of them no more. Now, police say they are not getting much help from the community in solving this crime. There is a reward for any information that leads to an arrest. We have the number on our website, wavy, on our website, rather, wavy.com. You can call that number if you have any information that can help police. In the newsroom, Brandy Cummings, 10 on your side.